Hey, what's going on everybody? So I just got off of work and I thought I was driving to a TJ Maxx, but it's actually a Marshalls. Why that's significant is because I have store credit um, for a TJ Maxx, but I'm just gonna drop by in there um, anyways. I see a five below over there, I was right beside it as well. So I'm gonna see if there's any more Overwatch figures too. Not bad. figures we got all these got some wrestling figs here iron chic f5 below zack Ryder, jeff hardy they had a braun strowman but i don't want to i don't want the braun strowman i might pick up these three five hours later What's going on, y'all? I just got off of work. Um, I'm actually outside of a Walmart, so I'm gonna see if there's the animated series Spider-Man Marvel Legend figures in there, and also see if there's any of the new the Star Wars Black series in there. So yeah, let's go check it out. It's pretty dope. First time seeing this in person. Is cool too. Huh. No AEW or WWE figs at all. I just see the belt. That's about it. Considering this, I don't even have a Goldar. He doesn't have wings though. I wish he had wings. Yo, this is dope. I love Mega Box. Oof, it's expensive though. And this is dope too. I would cop this, but man, that is expensive. Too expensive. I'm gonna wait until that goes on clearance. Hopefully. But I saw this, I might pick this up. Actually, I have both figures. So probably not. People keep asking if I'm back. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I'm outside of a Walmart. I just got off of a work meeting. So um, it's super cold outside. I'm pretty far away from the house. So I'm gonna uh, grab a hoodie, but I'm also gonna check out the toy section. So let's check that out. All right, the only thing new I see is the AEW action ring. Found a Spin Masters Catwoman. About to pick that up. So I'm back at home, a bit of a smaller haul this week, but let's go ahead and share it with y'all because uh, um, that's what I'm here for. So I did pick up that Jeff Hardy retro figure from Five Below, uh, basic card backing. And then here are the other folks from the line. You got Braun Strowman, Jeff Hardy, Iron Sheik, and Zack Ryder. But, uh, I just picked up the Jeff Hardy. I think, um, I've become more of a Jeff Hardy fan in my later years. I like him more so as 
an older wrestler. He's grizzled, and uh, I could just very much relate to him. He's he's awesome, and the stuff that he does for his age in his mid 40s. Not that I'm in my 40s, um, is really insane, and I just have a whole another respect for him. Definitely think he's one of my favorite wrestlers. But there's that. Um, <laughs> I could just keep on going on and on about him. Uh, so I did pick up that um, the Catwoman from Walmart. Really cool. These figures are awesome. I mean, uh, they don't. They're like the sculpting isn't great, and it's not realistic. But for seven ninety nine. You know for seven bucks or eight bucks uh, these are really cool to collect and they're pretty affordable and they're expanding and they're they're dropping vehicles as well like they're, they're, it's just a really cool fun line to collect and that at the end of the day that's what it's all about it's about fun and I'm enjoying collecting these figures because I think they're cool uh, and for the size uh, there's a lot of articulation in these figures, and I think that's really cool. I'm going to enjoy taking pictures of uh, this figure. I, I'm a big Catwoman fan, uh, as any Batman fan is. Uh, I love the Bat family. And this is a new, another cool figure to add to my collection. So, that's that. So, for my non-action figure pickups this week... I did pick up the How to Draw the Marvel Way. Uh, so this is a drawing book. It's a uh, it's a how to draw book, of course. But if you look at the authors, you can't you can't miss with this. It's Stan Lee and John Buscema. Rest in peace. But yeah, this is a. Uh, you gotta learn from. You gotta learn from. You know these. The Godfathers, you know the Godfathers of, of comic books. So. Yeah, I had to pick this up. And with my work discount, you know, it just made it. You know, irresistible for me to not pick those things up. So I did pick them up. For the next thing. I did go to the Marshalls, and I did not know that the TJ Max, TJ Max, and Marshalls are the same company. So I was able to use that store credit, um, and I picked up some new balances. I thought these were really cool. They came with extra laces. They were only twenty nine which was really insane but uh yeah I thought this was a cool cool pickup so I picked up the New Balance X90s it's my first pair of the X90s I found a pair of the 990s at a thrift store, fell in love with them. They were so comfortable. And I really fell in love with the 990 silhouette, especially the toe box. I love, I love the mesh top and especially the reinforced straps on top. I just love that silhouette. And these are amazing because they remind me a lot of the Gel Light 5s, the A6 Gel Light 5s, in that it, the tongue is not separate from the whole shell of the shoe. It is actually, it's more of like a sock liner. So this is a whole one thing. And the tongue is actually part of the, uh, the whole shell, the whole mesh lining. It just feels like a like another big sock on my 
on my foot and the heel is raised a little bit but not too much where it's uncomfortable but I just feel like I'm walking downhill in these I, I tried them on uh, in the store and in my house and these feel amazing I love these I think these were an amazing buy I love the New Balance 990s I just I love the silhouette and the X90s are very close to the 990s I think they're maybe like the affordable lifestyle version of the 990s because those the 990s do go for a heavy penny like if you buy them in retail and you don't buy them in a thrift but yeah that is my pickup for this week i hope you enjoyed it i hope you stay safe out there um stay healthy and uh until next time y'all i hope you all enjoy the vlogs later